Bing. Okay. Thank you. It's finished. Okay. Thank you. Great, guys. You practiced a lot. And you were making some mistakes this time, so I would like to give you feedback. Can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, awesome. Yes. So, yes, teacher. Yes, you know what? It was my for, I was the first one to make a mistake because I didn't explain uh, the usage of for or since because that's what we were supposed to be practicing. Okay, yes. so for we're going to use it for the duration. All right, we're gonna use numbers for this. We're gonna say one, two, three, four, and. any number okay and since we have to say a specific point in time for example in 2010 i mean not in 2010 but 2010 uh september all right can type tonight september uh, yesterday any specific point in the path or in time all right Yesterday, and uh, we can say 7 a.m. Okay, so this is varied. Four, we're gonna say a number. For example, we can say three hours, we can say seven years, we can say 12 what, guys? Mm -hmm. 12 months. We can give me a number, any number. Eight, seven, eight, 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 <laughs> yes, that counts. 20 seconds to Mars. <laughs> hey, what is that band called? 20 seconds to Mars? Like that? Yes. All right. <laughs> may, teacher, may I say all right? Can you say what? I'm sorry. Ah, for a lifetime. Oh, yes. A life, a life. Yes, but the thing is that this A ah is one. So it's also a number. So four you're going to use with numbers. Okay. Numbers and then time. In this, it's a specific point in time, usually in the past, definitely in the past, actually. So if I ask you, you can have, you have two options, right? It's not that one of them is incorrect, but you cannot combine it. So if I ask you, have you, no, for example, if I ask you, um, how long have you studied English? You have two possible answers here. What are they? You can use for or you can use since, guys. So, how long have you studied English? What's the answer? I have a long study English since. I have studied English. Don't use long study because English. that's for a question, right? In this case. Uh -huh. I have studied since. English. Since, since, can I say for since, since June, it's all right. Jose, what were you saying? Can I say, uh, I have studied English for 20 years. For 20 years. It is okay, because look, okay. look, you can use, you can use four with a number. So you're saying 20 years. So it's okay. All right. Okay. Or since June. Very good. But what you cannot say is I have studied, this is incorrect. I have studied English it is since one, since two years ago. You can't say that. This is incorrect. Correct. Okay. You have to say since 2000. 18 or for two years, but you cannot say since two years ago. You can't say that. Even in Spanish, it's incorrect to say this de hace dos años atrás. It's incorrect in Spanish. They say it a lot here in Argentina, and I tell them that's incorrect in Spanish. <laughs> you can't say that. 
All right. So okay. since 2018 or for two years, it's the same. It's the equivalent. So remember, you're going to use a four with numbers. Okay. No, 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 no. And you're going to use since for a point in time, in the past, point in the past. Is that clear? Yes. Got a question. Teacher, okay. uh, what is the difference between for and during? In what situation can I use during? The thing is that during is progressive, so it, it lasts long. For example, I, during the morning, for example, the, the accident happened during the morning. But we're not going to use during with, with present perfect. We usually use during with progressive, anything that is progressive. Because the morning lasts long, right? It's like, how long is the morning? The morning is actually like 12 hours. So it's pretty long. It's something that can be progressive. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? No. Nope. Okay. Send, it, send them to the to the chat, please, teacher. Uh, you are typing. Okay. I'll try please. not to erase that. Uh, I'll write in later. Um, Very good. Now we're gonna see the difference between present perfect and past simple. If I'm not wrong, would you read the objective, please? And let me see who. Catherine? Catherine Ramirez, can you read the objective, please? Okay, not answering. Alvaro? Okay. Uh, asking and as reading question in English using the present perfect and simple past tense in this lesson English teacher you think explains when you simply past versus the present perfect tense there depending on the time frame of the action practice asking question in the present perfect using how you ever and the screen your past experience by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. His lesson included an English oral comprehension exercise. All right, thank you. Let's watch the difference. Please take notes. Have your hand, uh, your, your notebook handy. Sorry and take notes about the difference, because then we're going to practice, okay? Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. 
and we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom, it's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. So they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, the third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. So let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has. As I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they. And we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have. Um, and then this follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever. And then the verb in its past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb. So sometimes you can remove it. Um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as, yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as, no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be yes, I have or no, I haven't. 
And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes I have or no I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both, the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever try sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say, yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't. I thought it was great, or I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have. We won't do those. We're going to do the frame ones. Okay. Um, Alvaro, were you taking notes? <laughs> Alvaro Solin asked me. <laughs> Guys, take notes because this is, imagine you're sitting in class, right? And... Um, Somebody is speaking, teaching you what you're usually doing is listening and you're taking notes, right? Paying attention. So imagine it's, it's a class, okay? So anyway, um, I'm going to send you an image right now. Take a look, please. Everybody check what's up. Go to what's up. Um, here it is. So I want you to see that conversation, uh, the purple one. Because that is the model we're going to follow. We're going to combine. We sort of did this last night, but we're going to combine um, present perfect and past 
simple, okay? So, uh, the dialogue says, let's read that dialogue first. Uh, Otto, you're gonna be A. Alvaro, you're gonna be B. That's your punishment, Alvaro. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Otto and Alvaro, go ahead. This purple one right here. Okay, read that dialogue, please. Remember, you're on mute. So we need to unmute it. Alvaro and Otto, go ahead. Read that conversation, please. The purple one on WhatsApp. I don't hear you, Otto. Otto, you're on mute. Hello, 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 hello. There you are. Otto, you're I A. Forgot Alvaro, you're B. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have you ever um have you ever been a good a good boy? Uh, uh, no, it what? says, have you ever, you have to follow the model. Let me see, being a good boy, where is it? Be a good boy. I don't see it. Have you ever, <laughs> have you ever, it's, it's correct, have you ever been a good boy? Yes, but I don't see that option. All right, so look, guys, we're, check WhatsApp. Okay. Are you using WhatsApp in the image? Yes. The purple one? I'm okay. checking. So you follow the model mm -hmm. and you use one of the actions or the verbs from the column, from the, the left column. So have you ever, uh, and then you can the, see. The, the option is the, is, the, is the next to the, the dialogue. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Uh, so have you ever, and then you say the first one, have you ever seen a ghost? And the first uh, yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. I have. So if the yes. person says, yes, I have, you say, really? When did you, so you have to ask the question in the past. When did you see it? Uh -huh. What happened? Yeah. What did you do? Any question in the past, okay? And then the explanation you give has to be in the past, similar to what we did last night. So you can use that as a model, but I want you to use present perfect and past to give detail. Is that clear? It's clear. Awesome. So, so. Okay, okay. Uh, have you ever seen a ghost? No, I never. I never seen a ghost. Really? Um, I don't believe you. Uh -huh, but you have to ask him uh, a question. Is, 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 uh, mm, with, well, since he his... said no, since he said no, probably we cannot ask any more questions. If he says yes, then you can find more. Otto, have you seen a ghost? Have you ever seen a ghost? Yeah. Okay, now somebody asked him a question in the past to get details. Can, Ramiro, can you ask him a question in the past? Ramiro? I never hear Ramiro. Ramiro? Ramiro, I'm there. Is somebody there? <laughs> guys um tomorrow yeah. is tomorrow thursday yes right please turn your camera on because this is what happens i would people who have black screens usually are not in class or i don't know what's going on so please turn it off so we can practice i can see you all right uh, follow the model let's practice we only have 10 minutes so let's do it right now go ahead Okay, um, accept the invitation, uh, please. We're going in groups to practice. Yes, um, have you ever also accept the invitation, person? please? Yeah, I, could you repeat? Accept the invitation, please. I don't hear it very well. Could you repeat? Yes. Hello, accept the invitation, please. No. I don't understand very well. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Accept the invitation, please.
Hi, Kelly, can you hear me? But unfortunately, oh. uh, I wasn't able to go to him. Oh. Nothing, practically. Uh, Xperia, and you? Um, another, have you ever studied Hello. Japanese? Okay. I have tried once, however, it didn't work for me because Japanese is kind of difficult. What about you? Have you ever tried to learn Japanese? No, I haven't. But um, I will. You would like to try? Yes. Sergio, have you ever done something dangerous? Mm, maybe I have. I have learned many years ago to dive in the ocean, but for me, it's very scary. In my case, no, no, I have, I haven't. I haven't. Okay. Have you ever met a famous person? Yes, I have. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah. Fabiola, have you ever laughed for a very long time? Which one left? Love, love, left. Love. Ah. Uh, no, I haven't. Really? You have never left for a long time? A very long time? I think no. <laughs> Just a long time. <laughs> okay. I don't, yes, I have. Uh -huh, now I, we have to ask her a question in the past. Jacqueline and Jose. Jackie, Jack. <laughs> what? We have her? to ask her a question in the past. For example, uh, why really, I, when did you love for a very long time? Maybe not when, but what did you laugh about? What were you laughing about? Or what did you laugh about? Oh, yeah. Or, or which? I, I, no, I haven't. Okay. Have you ever eat lots of candy by yourself? What's the past participle of eat? What? What is the past participle of eat? Um, eight. Eighteen? Eaten. Or eight. Eaten. Eaten. Uh, eaten. Yes. Eaten. Have you ever eaten? Participle. Yes, eaten. 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 That is right. Okay. Um, sí, el trazado de flying sería blue, 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 Do you ever spend a lot of money? Repeat the question, please. Have you ever? 
spend a lot of money. In this in this moment, I haven't. No, I haven't much. <laughs> you can say lately I haven't, but the, the thing is that the question says, "Have you ever?" So ever means during your lifetime. Okay. So you totally have, Lord. But you can say lately I haven't, but I have like I spent such amount of money this day. Okay. Okay, teacher. I spent a lot of money. I remember, I remember, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I bought a lot of clothes. Uh, a lot of, sorry, I can't, I can't hear well. Clothes. Clothes. Ah, clothes. 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 Like ropa. Ah, clothes. Sorry, sorry, okay. Clothes. How much did you Or spend? garments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much? How much um, did you spend? Like, like two hundred bucks in a two or three pieces of cloth. Are you kidding? Me? Wow! <laughs> Buy them. What store? Simon. Mm, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> The brand, maybe the brand. Uh, yeah, the brand of the of the clothes are expensive. I I, I remember that that I, I bought uh, Levi's long sleeve. Uh, I don't know if if it's a t-shirt. It's a long t-shirt. Yes. No, not a t-shirt. Okay, long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you. And Thank you. Okay. Um, now that we practiced, do you have questions? Were you able to use both present perfect and past simple? Uh, I have. Uh, I confuse. Yeah. Uh, what are you confused uh, about? These practices. I, I, um, the, last, the last part of the, the participation, the, the, the practice. Mm -hmm. um, for example, letter B in, in the last part, I, 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 I didn't know how do you do. Um, how can I do? You, you simply speak in the past. Let's do it quickly, Otto. I, I will ask you a question. Yeah. Okay, have you ever um, have you ever flown an airplane? No, but this is. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Yes. Otto? Yes, yes I, I have. have. Yes, I have. Okay, yeah. my question has to be in the past. Any question? Okay, for example, what mountain did you climb? I climbed, I climbed the, the mountains um, three years ago, for example. No, but what mountain? What mountain did you climb? What mountain? Yes. Uh, um, so what, September. What mountain? What's the name? Ah, what mountain? The volcanoes. I saw the volcano. So you okay. can say, I, yeah, that's not a mountain though, but <laughs> it's a volcano. So. Uh, where so is, uh, there, there is one, I think. Okay, so you're going to say that answer, letter B, you're going to say, I climbed I a climbed. South Coast volcano. A South Coast volcano, that's it. That's how you answer the question. Just like any other hey, fast, simple it's, it's question. All. Yes, that's it. It's easier. It's easier. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> no, okay, you, thank you, teacher. Thank you. I, I'm so sorry. What, no, it's okay. I prefer to ask you. No, don't okay. be sorry. <laughs> don't okay. be sorry. No, if anybody asks you a question in the past, you simply answer in the past. That's it. All right. Thank you very much for being in class, guys.
right i will see you again tomorrow so for, for thank you teacher thank you very much thank you thank you thank you teacher Thank, Thank you, you teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.